Hi. India's arming citizens in one of the most militarized regions of the world. These are members of a civilian militia during a training in Indian administered Kashmir. The right wing Narendra Modi government is using a recent deadly attack against Hindu victims as a justification to revive civilian militias and is even arming them with automatic weapons. While Muslims make up the vast majority of people in Indian and Mr. Kashmir, these militias are majority Hindu, and some have been accused of killing Muslim residents. My father got to see me. We didn't even see them because it was a very tough time for us to see them. The government went to IVDC and the government went to the government. The government went to the government and the government went to the government. Angrey Singh is a retired army veteran and leads the militia in the village of Androla. In Indian-administered Kashmir, these militias are known as village defense committees, or simply VDCs. VDC को training दी जाती है अपनी safety के लिए और जो जैसे कोई बाहर से तथु को दूसरा आदमी जा आए तो उसको कैसे हमने उनको cover करना है या फिर उसको कैसे रोकना है। While some of the militia members are former soldiers, others are handed a weapon after just one week of training. लेकिन आपको गलत फायर नहीं करना जब तक आप target दिखाई ना दे जब तक उसके हाथ में हथियार ना हो तो तब उसको आपको target करना जब तक उसको हरकत � by some estimates, there are nearly 27,000 active militia members in Kashmir today. Singh says there are about 50 VDC members in this village of just 1,100. And while more people want to join, he says there aren't enough guns to arm them. Kashmir has been a contested region since the British partition of India and Pakistan in 1947. The area was and still is predominantly Muslim, but its monarch at the time was Hindu. The religious divide led to violence that turned into the Indo-Pakistani War of 1947. Since then, there have been two more major wars and countless skirmishes between the two countries. Currently, parts of Kashmir are actually administered by three different countries. China to the east, Pakistan in the north and west, and India in the south. India and Pakistan have periodically accused each other of sending over militants to incite violence, which is why the Indian government supports militias along the border. Bar, bar. VDC members said they only used live ammo during patrols and not during training. Singh instructed the militia members on how to use these decades-old bolt-action rifles. Recently, the Modi government has said it wants to start giving some VDCs automatic assault weapons. Here, they're referred to as self-loading rifles, or SLRs, and Singh and his militia are keen to get their hands on them. The militia being trained today is comprised only of Hindu residents. But Angre Singh says that media reports stating that VDCs won't let in Muslims are not true. We are Hindu Muslims, we are all mixed. We are three, four, five, seven rifles, which are our mountain, and they are not like that. We can't talk about it in our village, we can't tell you about it in the other place, but in our village, we can't hear anything about it in the village. The recent push for more money and weapons happened after an attack on Hindu residents in the nearby village of Dhangri. Seven people were killed, including three children. Five of them were killed by gunmen, and two more were killed in a bomb blast the next day when mourners gathered at the victims' homes. Satol Kumar lost his son Satish that night too. His other son Pavan was injured in the attack. The attack happened on New Year's Day, and Pavan initially thought that the gunshots were celebrations. I thought that he was doing something, he was doing something. So, when I opened the gate, he was attacked by me. I hit a bullet, I fell down. So, I had to wear this dress. 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 Pavan had a weapon in his home, a holdover from when his dad was in a VDC in the 90s. But to him, the weapon and the militia are no help. हमारे पास गने हैं मगर कब जूझ करता सर आदमी अभी आप आए हो मैं अचानक से आप पे हमला कर दे तो आपने क्या करना है सर उस बात माइंड काम ही नहीं करता है किसी का भी गने उठाने का अपनी जान बचाने का कुछ भी नहीं होता सोच सर The Indian government blamed the attacks on militants who crossed the border from Pakistan, carried out the killings and then went back. Bhavan doesn't buy the story and thinks locals must have been involved. 
ये तो बड़ी उन्होंने आसानी से कर दिया डी जी साहब ने कि सर पाकिस्तान के आदमी थे आए और चले गए ये खाला जी का घर थोड़ी है आया और घूम के चला गया सर क्या करना है इतनी फोर्स को लगा के भी सर क्या करना है उनके होने के कारण की तो इतना बड़ा कांड हो गया सर He doesn't think arming and funding more VDC members will prevent any future incidents. गने मिलने के बावजूद भी इतना बड़ा इंसिडेंट हो गया हमारे साथ हमारे को ना पैसा चाहिए गवर्नमेंट का हमें ना गन्ने चाहिए ना ही हमें फोर्स चाहिए सब कुछ ले जाएं सर In 2019 Modi's Hindu nationalist government revoked Indian Minister Kashmir's semi-autonomous status. The decision went against UN resolutions and the wishes of Kashmiris who've been calling for a referendum on self-determination since 1948. As part of the government's tightening grip on the region, local leaders were sidelined and Modi appointed governors were put in charge. And changes to the law now allow non-Kashmiris to buy land in the region, which some fear is a potential settler colonial project for Hindus. Muslim Kashmiris are fearful that the demographic shift could make them the minority in certain districts of the region. India administered Kashmir is already one of the most militarized regions in the world, with more than 500,000 Indian military personnel stationed there. The region is checkered with small military outposts and police checkpoints. Now, the revival of militia groups is seen by some as another symptom of growing Hindu nationalism in Indian administered Kashmir. Not to mention the past cases of abuse and misconduct. Since the 1990s, there have been at least 221 recorded cases of abuse by the VDCs, including sexual assault and murder. And those are just the cases that are documented. Suspected abuses and killings from VDCs are sometimes hard to track down. In Badarwa, about a nine-hour drive from Tangri, we met up with the Muslim family trying to get justice. Humair Shah's father, Naeem Ahmed Shah, was murdered in 2019. The killer has never been caught. Humair recounted eyewitness testimony and showed us where her father was shot and killed while transporting a cow. तब बत युगो घर के गावन अमिल गावन जो वो तो थे वाव वह मुसार के हम घर गए थे बस रोज रोज तो रोज तो रोज हैं बस अब हम सार घर गए थे तो ये इसलिए दराव सु बैठा है मैं कहीं तां पैठ पाते मेरे पापा पहुंचे फिर उन्होंने बोला कि न, मतलब जो उनके साथी थे उन्होंने बोला जब नईम नईम सो ये तो नहीं होन लेकिन फिर फायर वायर को घूम गई सल मतलब वो जो है बाकी लोग वो भाग गए मेरे पापा ने फिर यहाँ से रास्ता अपना तय किया है मेरे पापा पहुँचे तो यहाँ पर वो गिर गए और यहाँ से फिर उनको किसी ने भी हाथ नहीं लगाया जब उनकी डेथ हो गई थी वो यहीं पड़े हुए थे किसी ने उनको हाथ नहीं लगाया था जब तक कि पुलिस यहाँ नहीं पहुँची लोको पुलिस टोल मीडिया दैटेक्टेड The family says a local police officer warned him not to come to their town because he might get killed. Since Naim was a Muslim man traveling with a cow, which is a sacred animal for some Hindus, local media blamed the killing on cow vigilantes. Homer says she's tried to find an answer from officials day after day. Har jagah mein chalti rahi. Har jagah mein bolne ki jao aaj nahi kal aana parswana. Aise hi karte karte 4 saal nikal gaye. Homer says she and her family are struggling to make ends meet and still no one has been charged for the crime of killing their father. Agar main mera bhai aur meri maa ko koi maar dalega administration is baat ka zimma leti hai. The 1990s were a very violent time in Indian and Mr. Kashmir. That's when there was a spike in targeted killings against a specific group of Hindu Kashmiris known as Kashmiri Pandits. Between 1989 and 2004, at least 219 Hindu Kashmiri Pandits were killed in those attacks. The killings led to a mass exodus of hundreds of thousands of Hindus from the Kashmir Valley. When the violence spread to other parts of the region, the Indian government established nearly 4,000 village defense committees as a response. In addition to the killings of Kashmiri pundits, since 1989, more than 50,000 people have been killed in Indian and administered Kashmir. That includes 7,000 police officers, nearly 20,000 so-called insurgents, and 20,000 civilians who were killed by either separatist militants or by Indian armed forces in military operations. The majority of these victims were Muslim, including unarmed protesters and detainees who were arbitrarily executed by Indian military forces or paramilitary groups like VDCs. India administered Kashmir is nearly 70% Muslim, making the territory one of the few regions in India where Muslims outnumber their Hindu neighbors. Muslim leaders say that Kashmir is very peaceful today overall. When the violence from the 1990s died down and some abuses by VDCs came to light, many militia groups were disbanded and downsized. 
which is why the revival of VDCs this year came as a surprise. Look, if we compare the 90s and today we compare the 2023, there is a difference between the earth and the sky. Today, there is no such thing. There is a very unfortunate incident that happened. The incident of Dhangri and that we are doing it in small words. We are doing it in small words. Guftar Chaudhary is a Muslim youth leader in Rajouri. If you have 50 people in a village, then naturally that person will feel a little bit of understanding that I am powerful. Then when there are small and small rivals, then these VDCs will be able to reduce the amount of VDCs. Guftar Chaudhary is a Muslim youth leader in Rajouri. Guftar Chaudhary is a Muslim youth leader in Rajouri. VDCs جو ہیں وہ کا مس یوز کر دیا جاتا ہے گفتار سید کہ اٹھاک آن ہندوز ارلیر دس یئر شد نات بی یوز ایز ایز جسٹفیکیشن فور مور گنز دیکھیں جو سیکیورٹی کا کام ہے یہ بالکل فورسز کا رہنا چاہیے جب VDCs کا پتا چلا لوگوں میں ایک ڈر پھیلا ہوا ہے ڈر جاتے ہیں کہ وائی اتنے وقت کے بعد جب یہاں پر حالات ٹھیک تھے بیس تیس سال یہاں پر کچھ نہیں ہوا VDCs گن واپس لے لی گئی تھی لوگوں All the people we talked to said that Muslims and Hindus have been living together peacefully. Here is a very mixed culture. If you go to every panchayat, if you get 70 houses of a Muslim house, then you will get 30 houses of Hindu brothers. And when we have a marriage, we come to another one, we eat food, we eat our food, we eat our food, we eat our food, we eat our food. But there are frustrations on both sides, and a shared feeling of injustice by both Muslim and Hindu victims of gun violence. پہلے ماں باپ تھے دادا دادی تھے وہ پاکستان میں تھے ادھر سے چل کے ادھر آئے اپنی سیفٹی کے لیے آج وہی بات ہمارے ساتھ ادھر ہو رہی ہے بارت میں آکے سر After no more action was taken by authorities to try to catch the militants who shot him and killed his brother Pavan Kumar says he has lost faith in the government ہمیں تو بھی فراغ تھا کہ سرکار ہمارا سنجوگ دے گی ہمارا ساتھ دے گی یہ تو بالکل ٹوٹی گئے ہیں سر ہم اس سے تو اچھا ہم ادھر رکے ہی نا سر انڈیا میں رکے نا بارت میں رکے نا ہم سیدھا ادھر پاکستان میں چل What do we do here, sir? We have to die here and we have to die here, sir. We just need to die here, sir. We need to die here, sir. We need to die here, sir. We need to die here, sir.